It's all right, ma'am. I'll handle this. LAPD homicide. You want homicide or a doctor, sir? You're a doctor? You're a cop? I think you're going to be all right, sir. <laughs> I've got some water over here. Come on. Are you okay? Hey! I think I'm hurt, too. Sam? Hey. Two guys from across the hall found her. She's white as a ghost. What do you think of that? Punctual? Managers. This lady out in front says she saw something. Jess, we got a witness. She's outside. Never seen Bozo act like that before. I take it that's Bozo? Yeah, it's my neighbor's dog. It's a border collie mix. You know, really friendly and everything. 
I was sitting there watching TV, and Bozo starts growling like she's seen a ghost or something. So I go to the door and I look out, and this guy runs right past me. Can you tell us what this guy looked like? Yeah, he was tall, thin, uh, long dark hair, and really fair complexion. And he was wearing all black. Anything else? Yeah, there's one more thing. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy. But this guy had fangs. Fangs. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks. So I was doing my morning job, right? And all of a sudden, there she was, this vision, this goddess coming out of the water. August, I couldn't take my eyes off it. It was like I was in some kind of hypnotic trance, and she had this wetsuit on. A wetsuit? No, this wasn't just a wetsuit. This is more like a wetsuit dream, if you catch my drift. And then she started to slowly peel it off. I about lost my mind. Well, did you talk to her? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, of course, we had a nice little chat. But, August, I want to move real slow on this one. Just how slow do you think you'll be moving, Detective? Samantha Moorcroft, I'll be slicing up your victims from now on. Uh, Brooks, August Brooks. This is my partner, Chase McDonald. Oh, yeah, we met the other day on the beach. Figured you were putting me on about being a cop. Why would he do something like that? It... The wetsuit. Oh, by the way, that old guy you steamrolled over, he's gonna be just fine. All right, gentlemen, let's get to work here. Start selling open the chest. Thought I'd better give you guys a jingle. No, we do appreciate that, Dr. Moorcroft. Check this out. There's no blood, not one ounce anywhere. Your victim's been pretty well drained. Um, these puncture wounds, what do you make of them? Fangs. Fangs? Yeah, somebody or something bitter. Best products on the market. Stuff metabolizes fat, burns it off in your sleep. Ah, yes. A lean machine, huh? Well, it is my temple. And a beauty it's going to be, too. Have you got anything for us, Annie, or have you been spending all your time staring at Cragmire over there? Jealous? Yeah, right. No recent vampire killings in L.A., but there have been some in Florida and Texas. Hey, come on, guys. Vampire slayings? You don't believe in vampires? No, as a matter of fact, I don't. Hmm? According to legend, it's as good as sex ever gets. <laughs> the ultimate hickey. Really? I think I'll stick to the old-fashioned ways. There's always been a fascination with vampires. Eternal life. Sleep all day, party all night, drink some blood, and all your senses are heightened beyond anything you could imagine. Vampires aren't that different from crack addicts. There is one difference. Crack addicts don't go around sucking the blood out of people. You're not gonna start believing in this stuff, are you, Mac? Well, we do have a victim with no blood and fang marks. Spooky. Hey guys, can you believe it? Now we got a peeping Tom dressed as a vampire. Werewolves. What about werewolves? You believe in werewolves too? Obviously. I'm not saying I believe in vampires. All I'm saying is that I'm the type of guy that considers all possibilities. There's a lot of things in this world that can't be explained. Oh, well then, obviously you believe in Bigfoot. UFOs. The Loch Ness Monster. How about the Loch Ness Monster? Yeah, you're just not gonna stop, are you? <laughs> Did you bring your torch with you? A torch? Yeah. 
and you could run into the Frankenstein monster in a minute. Understand? He don't like fire, you know. Back, back. <laughs> Mac, 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 stop, stop! What? I don't see anything. Isn't that the invisible man? <laughs> oh, you're a funny guy, August. Mac. What? Up ahead. Yeah, right. No, 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 seriously. Stop the car. Stop the car! Is that our boy? Let's check it out. Traveling south on Pasadena, just past Monterey, questing back up. This guy got this first souped up. One Adam 13, one Adam 9, and one Adam 3. Got visual on your suspect and hot pursuit. Turning southbound on Pasadena from Rosecrans. Watch out for us. Clear. Damn! August. Yeah. To eternal life and eternal pleasure. May we live till the end of time. Is it just me? Or does this germ just get weirder and weirder every day? Both. Police! Nobody move! Oh. Step away. Yeah. 
Gentlemen, this is a private party. What do you think, August? I don't know. All vampires look alike to me. Aren't you supposed to have a search warrant or something? We're in pursuit, ma'am. We don't really need a search warrant. You, you, you. Take off your hoods. May I? Please. Tomato juice officer, go ahead. Refresh yourself. No, thank you. Well, August, what do you want to do? Let's take them all down for questioning. They all look like potential suspects to me. All right, listen, people, I want you to line up over by the front door, single file. Sandra Horton. Did you know her? No, I'm afraid I don't. She was murdered. Killer punctured her neck and drained her blood. My God. Our suspect, um, who was dressed all in black, led us to your little ceremony where everyone was dressed all in black. Was he a part of your ceremony? Who? Well, we've been throwing these ceremonies for a year. People bring friends, relatives, loved ones. Hundreds must have come and gone. I don't know everyone in the ceremonies. Hmm. Well, what exactly do you do at these ceremonies? Enjoy the dark, the possibility of living forever. Ecstasy. Uh -huh. The, um, tomato juice drink. Was that the ecstasy part? They say a man and a woman and human blood there's something very, very special. Um, but you weren't drinking human blood. The imagination can be a very powerful aphrodisiac. Detective. Um, right. Um, well, be, besides um, turning yourselves on with tomato juice, uh, what else happens at these ceremonies? Maybe sometime I could show you what else we do. Okie dokie. Um, thank you for your time, ma'am. Uh, we'll have a uniform escort you out. And if you think of anything else, you give me a call. Expect it. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> right. <laughs> Bye. What the hell have we got here, partner? Huh. Well, we got a beautiful, intelligent, intriguingly odd young lady. Ah, intriguingly odd. Just your type. Listen, we better check with Annie, see what kind of information she can dig up on these vampire clubs. You know, you can overdo that kind of thing. Tell me that. I'm in serious pain here. Then stop. I can't. Can't stop moving. I think I'm becoming an indoor fanatic. Ew. So, uh, you got anything for us yet, Annie? Yeah, a couple of official investigations. Some of these vampires are taking themselves a little too seriously. Killing people and drinking their blood, kind of serious. What about our little Miss Wanda in there? She's legitimate. I mean, she's got a rental agreement with the owners of the warehouse. 
This is a huge fad around the country. It's party time. It's usually 20-somethings looking for a good time. Yeah, some fad, huh? Kids are morons. They'll buy anything. Donald. It's Wanda. I think he's here. All right, just stay calm. Where are you? Home. What's the address? 212 Maple, upstairs. I'm two minutes from there. Just stay on the phone with me. Wanda. Wanda. Wanda! Eric? This isn't funny. No. That's all of it. Right. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. His name is Eric. No last name? Nobody used last names. Chase, there's still an hour of darkness left. Please don't leave me alone. Please stay.
I sucked your blood, I think you would have known. Oh, I was just having a dream. Oh. Thank you for staying last night. Oh. No problem. Listen, uh, you got a friend you can stay with for a couple of days? There's a friend of mine, Susie. She works down at the coffee shop. I think I could stay with her. Good. I'll drop you off, all right? that up for you? Sure, why not? You know, they say coffee is supposed to lift the spirits. Wanda, hey. I look like you haven't slept all night. We're on the vampire, remember? <laughs> yeah. Susie, I'd like you to meet Detective McDonald. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's my captain over there. Will you excuse me? Sure. <laughs> that guy's a captain? Yeah. Captain, what are you doing here? The place looked empty and depressing. What's your excuse? I'm here with Wanda. Remember the vampire from yesterday? You're breakfasting with vampires these days? Well, not exactly, Captain. Killer went for her last night. She's gonna stay with her friend for a while. McDonald. Right. Same MO? Okay. I'm on my way. Well, Captain, we got another one. Same apartment building. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. How about me in the office? Right. Killer may have struck again. You gonna be all right with Susie? Yeah, I'll be fine. All right, call me later. More coffee? No thanks, I'll just take the check. Are you really a captain? Hey, Richardson. Hey, Chase. She's got uh, puncture wounds on the neck, and uh, as far as I can tell, there's no blood in the veins. Those are only eyewitness. He probably figured that she ID'd him. August upstairs? Yeah. Excuse me. Craig Meyer says he's uh, draining it using a pump, a catheter. I'll tell you, though, these uh, teeth marks. They definitely look real to me. Yeah, thanks a lot, Annie. That was Annie, guys. She finally tracked that Hirsch down. The guy sold it six months ago to an Eric Summers. Address? We got an address. Let's go. Yeah, later, it's there. See if you can get us some light. Open it. I'm not opening it. You open it. I'll cover you. Upside down some cave. You know, August, last night I shot this guy twice in the chest. When I went for the body, he was gone. You probably missed. I didn't miss. Two seconds later, a bat attacks me. Explain that. Well, it's probably just an angry crow or something. Know the difference between a bat and a crow. You know, Mac, you got the Transylvanian yipes. You know that? Why don't you just relax a bit, huh? Check this out. Our famed friend spent quite a lot of time at the dentist. Can you explain to us exactly how you make these fangs? Uh, well, I, um, I build up a crown, and then I file it down. It's 
just like Paul's teeth. So how many of these have you done? Oh, I don't know, uh, maybe a hundred? I'm uh, pretty well known. All the kids are coming to me. Ah. And you're, uh, turning them into vampires? Uh, <laughs> excuse me, but what the hell am I supposed to do? Corporations coming into dentistry? Stomping out guys like me? The kids want fangs, I give them fangs! I, I, I'm sorry. Mr. Brown, uh, what can you tell us about Eric Summers? Eric, um, charming. Charming? No, you don't understand. I mean charming. You see, I, I usually take cash only. But this kid gives me this nice story about parents traveling in Europe and how he's got this girlfriend and if he doesn't get some fangs soon she's gonna drop him for some hunk with really big points so I I go for it when I was a kid it was 57 Chevys oh, fresh blood to sate my sanguine desires Gentlemen, come, uh, we found those at the oral surgeon's office. They're the molds he used on our suspect. Andy, would you happen to have the suspect's dental records? Yeah, he did two years in the Army. They did some work on his teeth. And now, if I can match the dental records from the fangs to the puncture wounds on the victim's neck, then the DA will have a pretty tight case. So Eric Summers served in the military? Medical Corps, but he got a psycho discharge. And can we guess what for, boys and girls? While the other guys were out drinking beer, he was mixing Bloody Marys, the real thing. So that's where he started his habit. Yeah, and get this, for the last two years, he's been working as a tech in a lab, doing the tests on blood supplies. Fired. Lots of blood disappearing. You know, they say people who drink human blood become insatiable animals. Really? <laughs> The bottom line is you guys need to catch this guy because he's going to keep drinking until you do. Let's go. Oh, and fellas, don't forget the captain's surprise birthday party. Friday the 13th, 7 p.m. Don't be late. Be there. One thing about this guy, he's thorough. I mean, when he drains the blood, he goes the whole nine yards. Hey, listen, guys. Word's out on these Bela Lugosi murders, and I've already got offers from networks and tabloids. <laughs> yeah, I can see the headlines now. Vampires loose in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bloodsuckers driving down the freeways arranging the next meals on cell phones. It's quite an image, huh? I hope you didn't respond. You know, detective, I may have blonde hair, but I'm not stupid. So you got anything on this guy? Nah, just his name. That's it, huh? That's it. Well, I guess there's no who's who of vampires. You know, we haven't tried the Transylvanian phone book yet, huh? <laughs> you know, when I was in med school, police brought in a dead perk, a guy in a tattoo uniform. Full moon, and this guy operated on all fours. He thought he was some kind of a werewolf. Yeah, well, thought being the operative word here, I'm sure. Oh, no, he believed it. First, it was just furry little creatures. Kids started finding decapitated squirrels and cats all over the neighborhood. Then they found one of the guy's neighbors. He had his leg chewed off, and he bled to death. Then they found the werewolf guy. And he was just sitting in his apartment, real laid back, watching Monday Night Football, gnawing on this guy's leg. Did she say anything about where she might be going? 
No, she just said she'd call me. That was it. Hmm. All right, listen, Susie, I'm gonna arrange for a squad car to pick you up and take you down to headquarters for the night. Oh, okay. Might be a little depressing down there. The captain's been a little down about his birthday tomorrow. A little down? <laughs> that's an understatement. <laughs> so that's why he was losing himself in his coffee cup. Yeah, and being Friday the 13th isn't helping his mood much either. Oh, my God. Friday the 13th? Well, that's where she is. What do you mean? Well, it's one of the biggest ceremonies of the year. It starts at sundown the day before. What do you think, August? Biggest ceremony of the year, huh? Yeah, everybody goes. I say it's worth checking out. Huh? Two hours till sundown. Let's do it. Susie, thanks a lot. Sure. What is that smell? I don't smell anything. You don't smell anything. It smells like an Italian restaurant in here. Tell me you're making an Italian dinner for Wanda. Obviously, look, at, I mean, it's just insurance, right? I mean, if this guy's really a vampire, then we've got our bases covered. You know, the only base you need covered is to make sure that your health insurance covers mental illness. sustenance and the knowledge that we shall all live until the end of time to eternal life and eternal pleasure Yeah. I'm having one of my feelings. You think he's in there? Yep. I'll call for backup. Dispatch, this is 1 William 13. Requesting backup at 1205 North Peoria. It's a warehouse. I've done all this for you, Wanda. This is what you want. What you've always wanted. Drink it, Wanda. Come with me. Everything will change. Pure ecstasy. Please. No. Drink it. Mac, that's him. Police, freeze! <laughs> Yeah. 
You all right? Yeah, they took my car. Blue BMW. All right. And hope this is one William 13. We're in pursuit of a 187 suspect driving a blue BMW headed westbound on Glen Oaks. Suspect is armed, shots have been fired. I repeat, suspect is armed, shots have been fired. One William 13, this is one Adam 9. I see your suspect on West Glen Oaks. Roger that one Adam 9. Clear, Mac. Vampire, my butt, Mac. You just missed him the first time. This jerk's been wearing a vest. <laughs> See, August? I knew this steak would come in handy. Well, here's the cake anyway. He's not here yet? Nope. What time is it? It's way past seven. Craigmar, doesn't look like muscle candy to me. No, I'm telling you. Weights, fat burners, not good for the old temple. Pain makes your body feel old and cranky. So then it's back to the flab? Yoga, gentlemen. You ever hang upside down? As a matter of fact, I have. Makes you feel 20 years younger, doesn't it? <laughs> He's not coming. I knew it. He's too depressed. I have thrown a massive world-class bomb here. Hey, hey, Annie, it's not your fault that our captain is going through a... <laughs> Post-midlife crisis? Well, aren't you supposed to yell surprise? Um... Surprise! surprise! 